So in this problem, we need to show that the points A, B, and C are collinear. Okay, let us begin. Now what we'll do, we will consider, let's say, three points A, B, and C. We're also going to consider another point O, which is going to be the origin of some coordinate system, and it's going to be a two-dimensional coordinate system. Now, we can define the position vector of point A, B, and C. All we have to do is join O with A, B, and C uh, with, the, uh, with the help of a directed line segment. So, now we'll need to define the position vector of point A. The position vector of point A is going to be defined by O A vector. So, all we have to do is take the end point of the vector O A. So, the end point is A having the coordinates negative 2 comma 1 and we'll subtract it from the coordinates of the origin that is 0 comma 0. Okay, what we'll have to do here is first we'll have to take the difference of the x coordinates. So we'll do negative 2 minus 0 and we're going to multiply it with the i cap indicating that it's a component along the x direction. Add it to the difference of the y coordinate. So we'll take 1 minus 0 and multiply with j cap indicating that its direction is along uh, j cap or that means in the y direction. Now that means OA vector comes out to be negative 2 i cap plus minus uh, no, that's going to be positive J cap. Similarly, we can define the position vector of point B. So OB vector comes out to be negative 5 I cap minus J cap. And OC vector comes out to be equals to I cap plus 3 J cap. Now what we'll do? We'll join point A and point B uh, with a vector going from A to B and try to find out the vector AB. So AB vector, that's defined by take the position vector of the end point which is OB vector and from it subtract the position vector of the initial point so we have OA so what is OB? So OB vector it's going to be negative 5 I cap minus J cap and from here we're going to subtract OA vector so we have negative 2 I cap plus J cap so let's combine all the like terms so negative 5 I cap minus negative 2 I cap so that's going to give us negative 3 I cap then we have negative J cap minus j cap so that's negative 2 j cap so this is our vector a b we're going to label this as number one similarly we can also find out the vector b c so vector b c is uh, formed by joining b and c with the vector going from b to c so here we have oc vector minus o b vector what is oc vector so that's i cap plus 3 j cap and from here we're going to subtract ob vector which is negative 5 i cap minus j cap and that's going to give us 6 i cap plus 4 j cap let's call it number 2 now what we'll do we are going to uh, rewrite bc vector so here bc vector if we take negative uh, 2 as a common vector then we have negative 3 i cap minus 2 j cap however in 1, we have already showed that negative 3i cap minus 2j cap is nothing but the vector AB. This implies that BC vector equals to negative 2 times the vector AB. Or in other words, we are saying that BC vector is equals some a scalar lambda multiplied to AB vector, where we have chosen lambda to be equals to negative 2. Now, whenever this particular criterion is met, this suggests that the points A, B, and C are collinear so we have successfully proved the problem that means the points a b and c are collinear